Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 at Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico, and I've just met a couple that have a, well, I'll show you what it is, but it's a new way, not a new way to camp, but a different way to camp other than a travel trailer or a motorhome. And I'll just spin around here and you'll meet whoever. I haven't met them yet. <laughs> and your name is? I'm Brennan. B Brennan? Brennan. Yeah. B-R-E-N-N-A-N, Brennan? Got it, yeah. Brennan, okay, yeah. Brennan. And this is... Uh, <laughs> Hi. Yeah, she she didn't want to be in the video. Come on. Yeah, what is your first name? Leah. Leah. Brennan and Leah, and they're camping in a trailer, cargo trailer, I guess, because apparently there was just a frame, right? Yep, it was a old U-Haul ut utility trailer, like a 5x10. So I had a welder cut all the rails off of it and reinforce it with some additional angle iron and put a new tongue on it, and he welded in these jacks for me and and the way you I went. rebuilt the hubs and all that but from the frame up from the front from the bottom down here up you all you did all of it yep, yep. and these two little pans here they have two little cute dogs <laughs> that just got back from a very short walk yeah. she was telling me they were going to bark at me but they haven't barked yet <laughs> so anyway yeah he built some shelving here in the back to keep their kitchen stuff and yeah all so every everything above the frame you built all yep. this stuff and you install the tail lights and everything yeah so are you a carpenter by trade? Not really. Just uh, kind of handy, I guess, from Very doing different handy. projects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, did you help build it too? I did yeah. some painting, staining, yeah. and I, I helped quite a bit, actually, yeah, I think, did. on this one. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Have y'all done another one? I mean, we renovated our, we have a 35-foot uh, Class A okay. uh, motorhome that we renovated completely, and that required light carpentry. You know, all I right. built, did some stuff to the bed and all that, but this one... We wanted something quick and easy, and okay. we looked at some teardrop campers, and oh is, yeah, I said, well, I could probably build one that I. Well, the good like thing better. about this so. is, it, you've got room to almost stand up, almost. Almost. I mean, yeah. you can change clothes inside. Yeah, right. absolutely. And yep. is that important? Yeah, it can yes. be. <laughs> so anyway, it's got they've got a, is that a, like a memory foam mattress in there? Yeah, and it actually is like a trifold, so it folds up ah, okay. to a little uh, couch. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're reading Charles of Charlie, or you've read it? I've read it before, and I'm reading it again. Oh, I read it years ago. It's a great book, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect for this trip. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yeah, but he did the wood on the ceiling. He's got wood on the wall. How much do you think it weighs? Uh, probably somewhere around seven or eight hundred. Okay, and you're towing it with what? With a Rav four, four cylinder that's got a fifteen hundred weight okay. rating. Something. So okay. it's. Uh, you're okay. Yeah, we're fine. What Haven't you, had any troubles yet. What kind of mileage do you get towing? Uh, I'm thinking. It keeps changing because like when we got out here it obviously went down with the mountains but yeah. um uh, across the flat no no we're getting like up closer to 20. oh great yeah. see that's wonderful when yeah we we're coming through florida i think it was around 22. oh wonderful yeah. well yeah flat land you flat do. land is easy yeah. yep yep as soon yep. as we hit the mountains it, it started dropping Let me walk around here. but look at these chairs guys see he's got no, got a nice ice chest that's a that's one of those good ones you show mm -hmm. off <laughs> <laughs> That's, you can tell these are these people know their stuff. But look at these chairs, man. Those are from IKEA. Actually, they're pretty affordable. Yeah, but they fold up really yep. neat. Yeah, they they look very comfortable. Yeah. So we just fold them and pop them in the camper when we're traveling. Table and he, folds as well. And he is a musician, yeah. and he plays professionally everywhere in the world. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw that in for flavor. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but look at this. They got solar. How many watts of solar do you have? That's 50. Uh, we started out with 100, but the panels were originally mounted on the roof, but just the wind shear yeah. uh, was rocking them too much, so I pulled them off, and now we're just down to 50, <laughs> which for what we have... It's plenty. It's plenty, yeah. Sure. Start charging phones and, well, and you got little all, fans. All LED lights, and those, yeah. those little fans don't draw much, do No, that's 0.2 amps, and I've got a 1,000 amp marine grade battery in there so it's it would run for two months without the solar but okay and this is a little gas propane yep. cooker thing yeah butane how long does the little butane cartridge last it says 300 hours i haven't noticed that oh, that's, that's yeah a year. Uh, <laughs> it definitely <coughs> hasn't lasted the <laughs> we normally get three or four days out of a cartridge making coffee and one right. meal so well, that's fine yeah and they're about five bucks a piece, do you ever so. have campfires or you don't worry about that not not on this trip it's nice time of the year no i agree i don't yeah. i don't do campfires either well there, there's several reasons one the, campfires create smoke yeah okay. smell like smoke for a yeah. week yeah, yeah. yeah the inside of your rv yeah. smells yeah. like well excuse me queen <laughs> yeah. is this queen or king well, that is That's the Bimby. queen of yeah. everyone oh, okay this is the boss she mm -hmm. is being a good girl though aren't you <laughs> She hadn't barked yet. No, I'm surprised. She might, to, she might try to nip your leg as you pass. That's all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the blood stains are my blood. 
Yeah, isn't this neat though? I mean, this is really cozy. Yeah. And how long? How long? Nice. How many nights have y'all slept in it? Uh, I think we're on night eleven. And so far, so good. So far, so good. As soon as Texas we got was a, a little hot. I say <laughs> Florida, Louisiana, oh, yeah. and Texas. Yeah. We yeah. kind of tried to hightail it out of there because. Yeah, you, you got to get to the elevations now, about yeah. six thousand feet. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, the the. It, it'll, it'll cook you because I used to camp in a Toyota Prius, but of course mm -hmm. it, you could run the air conditioner in it. Right. And then I went to a pickup with a camper top. Mm -hmm. But but I've been doing this for years. I've had all kind of travel trailers. Right now I got a casita. I mean that doesn't mean anything. But oh, we yeah. saw you over there. Yeah, yeah that's me. I love the yeah, casita. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love this. Oh, they're really nice. They're made in Rice, Texas, and that's the only place you can get them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did good. What kind of siding is this? This that's right here. Waterproof canvas. Right here. You yep. just glued that on. Glued it on. Uh, I originally had like aluminum frame, but I just getting the radius to take wasn't gonna uh, work for so me. You, yeah, you cut. So you I cut, went to PVC, and this one I get back. I'll I'll countersink all these and sand them and fill yeah. all the trim. And yeah. the top is TPO, uh, which is like a rubber membrane roof. Right. They use it for really industrial, um, you know, roofing. But uh, I had a buddy in Florida who builds you know mobile structures, and yeah. he gave me a big remnant that he had from a build that he did. Yeah. And it's basically indestructible. <laughs> I, I see your shade here. It's yeah. never been open. <laughs> no, we, I know. Well, we, yeah. the winds and no, hasn't. No, I hear you. you, you the winds are yeah. not going to cooperate. We tried yesterday for yeah. about a minute, but yeah, it seems like over. it died down today. So it's going to be a little less today and a yeah. little less tomorrow. Yeah, so. I think that'll be maybe tomorrow. We'll bust yeah. it out. So you're you're going to be here for a while and then heading more west. Yep, we're staying until Sunday and then we head to Petrified Forest and then from there to Seguro and then just keep going. Well, whatever, you know. yeah. So, so this trip's going to be a few months or six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Yep. So we're on day twelve or eleven of. Well, six are, are y'all gainfully employed or unemployed or? <laughs> gainfully employed. Uh, Leah <laughs> works on the road. She has a social media company, and oh, then good. I work on the farm. But blueberry seasons. We were a blueberry farm and it just wound down, so I was like, well, I'm going to hit the road before it gets too hot. Good for and, you. Um, yeah. so, so you, you have a, a something you do, uh, what did you say, a blog or whatever? Um, I do social media, so okay. I... Okay, well tell us about it. Yeah. <laughs> give, your, give yourself a plug. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's Breathe Social and Spell I do that. B R E A T H E. Breathe. Breathe, Breathe. Mm -hmm. okay. social. And I do social media for businesses, so I do all their content creation, copywriting, campaigns, ad campaigns if needed, engagement. How, how would someone get a hold of you if they were interested in, in, in that area? You can find me at breathe-social.com. B-R-E-A-T-H-E social.com. Mm -hmm, with okay. a dash in the middle. Okay. And, um, or I'm on Instagram, Facebook too, under the same name, Breathe Social. Well, good. I hope you, yeah. some, if you hear that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> also, you should check out our Rambler, our, our Instagram for this trip. And then we, we did our renovations yeah. um, for our motorhome. Um, we're on Instagram and Facebook. It's yeah. the underscore Rambler, R-A-M-B-L-R underscore R-V. So no, no E in Say the Rambler. Say one more time. The underscore Rambler with no E underscore R-V. All right, because yep. they, they can pause it and then write yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah, th that'll be new when you get home. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it'll look nice, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was fun. But this is the solar. This is, you said what? Like uh, That's 225 watt panel. So you got 50 watts, and that's fine. Yeah, I've got 120, and, and I don't need that. Yeah. And, and then in the front here, you got some storage. Uh, that's my utility, like my batteries in there, uh, my charger. And then I got some just some tools for the road. What, what kind of battery you have? Is it AG, AGM or? Uh, no, it's an Optima. Yeah, yeah, sealed gel. Yeah, good. Um, the thousand watt blue top Optima. So, wow. Yeah, it's a good battery. Uh, it was actually donated by a friend of mine who's a coasty. Good luck. <coughs> yep. <clears throat> well, yep. when we leave it, it's so light. I don't. I just feel like you know. Well, it's, yeah, you get paranoid. Kind of Same way with me and my casita. Yeah. 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 You call? Oh, you call it the tiny, uh, tiny rambler. Tiny rambler. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Is this a, is this a, a website or something? Or? It's just a hashtag that we came up with for this particular camp trip. Um, so okay. Leah had a sticker made. We're the only ones who have used that particular hashtag on okay. Instagram. So we said, well, that's a good way to. Well, you got new tires. Yep, new tires and wheels. Rebuilt yeah. the hubs. Well, you um, did good, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you are you, you did this, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took uh, about three weeks. Well, is that all? Yeah, I mean, with work on the farm and everything, I mean, I had some downtime, but I'd say probably 15 full days of 
You ra you building. raise you have a blueberry. Yep. Yeah, we do blueberries in Central Florida. Well, let me ask you about blueberries. Sure. The in in Walmart or any most stores, they'll have regular blueberries mm -hmm. and then organic blueberries. Is there really a difference? I mean, um, I mean, it's just really what type of growing strategy you use. Um, uh, you know, organic is just if you use if you actually if you abstain from using certain types of chemicals, then you get the organic designation. Whereas if you go with a more traditional, like conventional agricultural route, then you don't get that. Oh. Um, now, it's a complicated question. Cause, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, well, you know, like, for instance, like, we use an organic weed killer uh, in our fields, but because we use growth regulators and some other stuff, we can't consider organic. ourselves organic. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but we've talked about doing organic, but in Florida, it's just really hard because the weather's there. So, yeah. you know, you got so many bugs and fungus yeah, you, that it's just tough to be an organic farm there. Lots okay. of lots of extra care has yeah, to yeah. go into the plants to keep. So, them. You, it, what is the season for blueberries in Florida, in Florida? It's late March through June. You'll still have berries. Okay. Uh, it's really just whenever you start hitting those ninety degree days every day. That's when the season kind of ends because the berries get soft. Oh. But then it but it moves like a wave up the country. So yeah, you know, right when three weeks into our season, Georgia starts to come in, and then you know South Carolina, and then. By midsummer to late summer, you'll have like Maine and Michigan and places like that coming in. Do you contract with just certain places to buy your product, or we go through? We we have a co-op with oh. other farms in Central Florida that do right. blueberries, and so we have a broker who sells our berries. But I think the last time I heard, most of our berries ended up in Trader Joe's. Okay, um, but uh, it's just. You know, whoever's buying them. I got the time. you. Yeah, no, so. yeah. You got to make a profit, or you're yeah, out of business, yeah. right? Well, anyway, thank you very much. Yeah, no uh, let me get let me get your names again. At the, okay. Oh, you're. I made a little list of everything for you with our names. Well, <laughs> well you know, I'm 73. I, I can't remember crap. I, it's so embarrassing because I'll, you know, I'll do a video and you'll give me your name at the beginning. Yeah. I can't even remember it when, after you said it. You, you know what I mean? It's like it's like you look at your watch to see what time it is. And then you look away and you can't remember what time yeah. it is. Right, right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I feel like I do that already. <laughs> well, let me say this, folks. It doesn't. There's no cure for it, yeah. and you might as well have a sense of humor yeah. about it because right. it doesn't go away. Yeah. And you know, if you, you'll age peacefully and gracefully if you just take a smile and say, "I can't believe I did that, but I did." So let it go. Yeah. Okay. Right well, anyway, this is Brennan. Brennan and Leah. Brennan and Leah. Yeah, she even wrote it down, but I can't. I can't unfold it like the mic in my hand. Brendan and Leah, and they built this thing, and they're traveling for a few weeks here. Mm -hmm. And you've hit some pretty good weather here for yeah, good. Yeah, it's beautiful here. So, this park is amazing. Yeah. And, it, it's, and, you know, it's not that well known. Yeah. You know, you don't hear everybody talking about Oliver Lee State Park right. in New Mexico. But it is really it's nice. Gem, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I was going to mention, too, if you need groceries in Alamogordo, mm -hmm. go to 10th Street and uh, turn, as you're going, and you'll turn to the right or towards the mountain. And you'll go to a store there called Lowe's, L-O-W-E-S. It's not a hardware store. Okay. It's actually a grocery store, and it is beautiful. Okay. okay. And they got all kind. Of, their produce is not yeah. great, but you know, if you want baseballs, you got you got some avocados you could use. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, but the, the store is beautiful, and they got a deli that, that's really great for okay. you know okay. stuff. So I just mentioned. I don't. Know, why did I think of that? My mind just goes. Good to you know. know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it yeah, might help you a little bit. Walmart yesterday buying groceries for yeah. Well, yeah, Walmart's, you know, it's what it is. You know, yeah. Yeah. Their meats suck, but... Yeah, we need Produce a bunch was of... kind of sad there, too. It, it is. You know, so. you, you can tell it's just strictly for profit. It's almost yeah. embarrassing, but... <laughs> you want to you, you, you know, play some music? Uh, no, thank you. So, <laughs> live, yeah. We'll put you live in the yeah. universe. No, yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me end the video. I'll turn around and get out. Y'all can laugh at my ending here. You'll get a kick out okay. of it. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, this is Rusty78609 at Oliver Lee State Park saying thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos why because i get a small commission and it does not cost you one penny what else drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you it's good for you it'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want a snack what else take deep breaths 
Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. And these two things are free. You can do it without going to the doctor. What else? Stretch, stretch, walk, walk, exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because that's good for you. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. That's your brain. Put in good ingredients and you'll feel much better. Adios amigos from New Mexico. Bye-bye.